Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mohan, consultant orthopedic and reconstructive surgeon and also a medical director at Nano Hospitals, Banargata Road, Bangalore. Joint aspiration. Basically, you put a needle into your joint space and aspirate the fluid from a joint. It can be from any joint, knee, hip, whatever, elbows, wrist, any joint. So joint fluid, normally a joint has an articulating surfaces and a synovial fluid, a thin layer of synovial fluid for the smooth movement of the joint. This synovial fluid, basically you can consider it as a lubricating fluid for the movements of the articulating surfaces. In any insult to the joint, it might be traumatic, any you know, traumatic uh, in single time or repetitive or sometimes an adjoining infection. Any irritation of the synovial, there is a synovial layer around the joint, any irritation to that, the joint, synovial uh, membrane will form excessive fluid. It's a protective mechanism to prevent further movement of the joint. So once this uh, joint forms, the liquid, I mean, excessive fluid is formed inside the joint, we aspirate it, put a needle into it under aseptic precautions, we put a needle into it, aspirate it and we can test it microbiologically and uh, pathologically what are the types of cells, what are the constituents of the synovial uh, fluid. It will give us an indication of uh, what might be the reason for this synovial fluid accumulation. Generally it might be exudate and a transudate. Uh, exudate indicates an uh, infective condition and transudate generally a reactive fluid formation. So it will help us in diagnosing what might be the reason of the synovial fluid accumulation.